Hi guys, so welcome back to our super quick revision series. We are on performance pyramid. Before this, we all have done a balance scorecard. We all have done triple bottom line. We all have done performance prism. Now it is performance pyramid that is by Lynch and Cross. Now, uh, on slightly similar lines of balance scorecard, at least to start off with, this kind of a performance measurement system basically focuses on two things. Which two things? Uh, which two people? That is your shareholders. And the other thing is your customers. Okay, it tries to be saying all other things are okay, but these are the prime focus of any company. So therefore, every company should try, in this case, to achieve its core objectives by satisfying these particular people. Okay, now entire thing gets explained through this kind of a diagram actually. Now this diagram, if you all know most of the things, you will automatically know. A company will have a corporate vision. Now this vision, okay, is there with the top management. They will be able to achieve that corporate vision uh, vision in case those guys achieve two objectives which are these two objectives first they try to capture the market with the help of satisfying the customers and the other thing they try in this case to get good amount of profit okay that is their financial objective obviously this particular part is nothing but a customer perspective this particular part is nothing but shareholders perspective so therefore this vision of top management goes down to the next level we call this level actually is l2 level which tries to be saying that under level 2, in case you want to achieve the level 1 objective, this is L1 objective, that is the company's mission. Then in that case, you got to be achieving the market, okay, means you got to be capturing more amount of market share. And apart from that, in this case, you got to be good financially. Now, in this case, no, if you want to capture the market, then you have some other objectives, what? First thing is you should be able to satisfy your customers. That is a prime thing. If the customers are satisfied, automatically things will start to be taking shape and people will start to buy your goods and ultimately your objective will get achieved. But whenever you are trying to satisfy the customers, be flexible in your operations. Be flexible means in this case, suppose like, you know, some new type of products have to be launched or suppose like, you know, now the customers want the products very fast. So therefore try to be flexible in your approaches. Then. Customer satisfaction is basically linked to two things. Which two things? One is quality of the product and the other particular thing is delivery. Delivery means on-time delivery of the product. So therefore, it all goes in this particular manner. You go down from here. Okay. First of all, to achieve the company's uh, vision, one objective is that you try to sell more. You try to capture more amount of market. To capture more amount of market, you require customer satisfaction and the flexibility. Apart from that, to get customer satisfaction, you require two things. One is quality, one is on-time delivery. Okay. Now, to achieve this and to achieve this, it will be the job of your operations. Operations means the last level of your company, means your workers up and so on, who will try to deliver the quality and who will try to deliver the product on time. This is the last level as such. Okay. So, therefore, it actually goes down like, you know, in four to five levels whereby in case you want to be achieving this everybody below has to be working for it now see this is one part of it the other particular part of it is that financial objective also is important you got to be earning money here if you want to be achieving that then you ensure that your company is working efficiently saving cost all those particular things one more thing that will be required for efficiency to increase, okay, inside your company, inside your company, it is very necessary to improve the cycle time. What do you mean by cycle time? Is the time that from the time you got the order or from the time customer has approached you till the time you deliver him the product. That particular time is going to be called as cycle time. You want to be improving your efficiency that will automatically start to get reflected in form of your cycle time. And apart from that, you should also try to be ensuring that your waste are minimized. In case your waste are minimized, automatically your cost is going to be getting saved and automatically your efficiency is going to be increasing. Your efficiency means your productivity. Once all these particular things are done, your cost will start to become less because your quality is improving, your efficiency is improving, those things. And then finally, in this particular case, you will be able to achieve your financial objectives also. So you achieve this, you achieve this automatically the company's vision, okay, or the company's mission statement, okay, will start to get completed. Exactly. This is whatever I've written as such. Okay. Now, one other part over here is that the left hand side of this particular pyramid, that is this particular part, this particular part. This is all in this case, basically external. It pertains to the customer. Okay. This particular thing is all internal inside the company. We'll try to be efficient within the company. We'll try to be improving the cycle time. We'll try to be reducing the waste. All these particular things are internal. Okay. 
so therefore this part is called as external effectiveness okay whereby how effective you are there in the market this is how effective you are there internally now that's it this is whatever we all require as such okay if you know this kind of a performance pyramid structure then automatically things start to be working out for the company now how do you know question is going to be there on performance pyramid in the exam one thing those guys will directly say use performance pyramid second thing they will try to be speaking of this they will try to be speaking of this okay now this is second way you all can come to know or those guys will try to tell you that classify all the things under these four heads quality delivery then cycle time and then in this particular case your waste now all these will be hints for you in this case that you have to be using performance pyramid now performance pyramid uh, honestly is not as famous as your other structures balance scorecard is most famous triple bottom line is a reporting framework then if your balance scorecard is working but still you are trying to be seeing that some of the stakeholders are not happy then in that particular case your uh, performance prism comes so this thing is kind of that thing whereby those guys will be telling you use this part okay listen four levels of improving business performance four levels l1 l1 in this particular case corporate vision and mission defines how organizations will achieve long term success and competitive advantage this is that particular part the first part over here okay then second level in order to achieve the corporate mission what is necessary try to have market related measures to capture more amount of market and try to have your financial measures in order to achieve financial success l3 that's your third level operating strategies become a guiding force to achieve the strategic uh, objectives which in, uh, includes customer satisfaction increased flexibility and high productivity that is your third level this is this particular level over here and in case you want to be achieving this then go over to l4 status of l3 driving forces can be monitored using lower level departmental indicators lower level means operational level basically okay such as quality delivery cycle time and waste these are the four measures as such okay now other aspects of performance pyramid now usually we try to be saying that these are the objectives you want to be capturing the market you want to be in this case trying to ensure that customers are satisfied you want to achieve quality you want to achieve the on time delivery how will these particular things happen by taking some measures which measures the measures are over here actually try to achieve lower cycle time try to achieve lower amount of waste so therefore these are the measures that you all can be taking to achieve these objectives okay <clears throat> apart from that the measures are from bottom to top so that's what i told the left hand side speaks about external factors which are usually non financial now these factors no like quality it is a non financial factor it is not a financial factor okay uh if you all remember your balance scorecard there are some financial measures there are some non financial measures i guess your quality part your delivery part will be coming under non financial factors they are not reported in your financial account so then on the other hand the right hand side of the pyramid speaks about internal efficiency which is predominantly financial in nature means all the waste and all these particular things can always be measured no in terms of rupees okay so therefore those are in like you know uh, mainly those particular things are financial so predominantly they are financial in nature okay now our question number 1 that was there in this particular chapter was all about a company that makes uh, some engines for motor cars sports up and so on okay now this company believes like you know that we are the best in the industry up and so on we have been asked to prepare a report which speaks about this and this the moment they will speak about this and this automatically in that case we all say that we are trying to speak about performance pyramid because those guys are told that try to classify all the things into these particular reasons okay now we gave our answer which was far 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 better but then before i speak of that particular answer so much amount of data was given to us so much amount of data was given to us you had total market size our sales our cost production achieving design quality standard return from the customers cost of after sales service sales meeting planned delivery dates average cycle time uh <coughs> components scrapped in production and lastly in this case idle machine capacity now this particular data was given and then you use this particular data as such to comment about the performance of this particular company now this entire data now was supposed to be future data okay this is all planned data but based upon this plan only you try to be commenting like you know what will happen if you adopt a performance pyramid as your structure 
सो दे फोर वी थॉट लेट स्टार्ट टू बी डूइंग दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग एंड हाउ डिड वी थिंक दैट वी थिंक दैट बाई यूजिंग लाइक यू नो दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एल वन स्टार्ट विद आर मिशन स्टेटमेंट राइट आई थिंक द मिशन स्टेटमेंट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन वॉज ऑल गिवन ओवर हियर ऑल्सो लाइक वी वॉन्ट टू बी बिकमिंग बेस्ट इन द इंडस्ट्री ऑल ऑल दोज पर्टिकुलर थिंग्स ओके इन केस यू वॉन्ट टू बी राइटिंग आई सी हैड फॉर गॉट टू बी राइट राइटिंग दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग बट इट इज देर इन इंजीनियरिंग डिजाइन एंड मैन्युफैक्चर ऑफ ऑटोमेटिव एंड मोटर स्पोर्ट इंडस्ट्री सो देर फोर इन द मिशन स्टेटमेंट यू कैन ऑलवेज बी राइटिंग वी वॉन्ट टू बी बेस्ट वी वॉन्ट टू सर्विस द कस्टमर समिंग सो ऑन ओके now that objective will get satisfied if and only if your two objectives are satisfied which two things first you capture more amount of market i see i had again forgotten this it should have written like you know that market share i would like to increase we had uh, found out this percentage 18 upon 110 into 100 and it would like to increase to this particular percentage we all have written that particular thing second it will also get completed if in this particular case uh you start to be financially more profitable so therefore you had your sales you had your cost you had your sales you had your cost and same way for the last year also so therefore we want to be in improving our financial performance by increasing our profit from here till here okay now all these uh objectives are linked to four other objectives which four other objectives that is your uh, quality delivery cycle time and in this case waste now in case you want to be proceeding further what you had to be doing classify all these kpis from 4 to 10 under these particular four heads so first of all in this particular case we thought what will come under the quality head under the quality head we had this production achieving design quality standards in how many cases your production was exactly up to the mark that will speak about your quality returns from the customer will obviously speak about the quality if your quality is better then in that case returns from the customer will be lower cost of after sale service honestly your cost of after sale service will always be falling if 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 if, if your quality is better so therefore these three aspects spoke about your quality and all these things are expected to improve in the next 3 years this is supposed to be improving from this to this returns from the customer are expected to decrease from this to this so automatically our quality is improving then cost of after sale service is expected to decrease so automatically our quality is improving okay this is fourth fifth and sixth okay then sales meeting plan delivery dates now this is that on time delivery funda okay this is your next particular funda of on time delivery okay now in on time delivery we are going to be seeing that it is expected to increase from 85% to 95% over the next 3 years so these particular four things dealt our left hand side external efficiency what about internal efficiency so therefore average cycle time from customer inquiry to delivery so therefore from the time customer had inquired i want to be buying the product or i am interested in the product till the time he actually bought and we delivered him so therefore cycle time as such is expected to improve from 5 weeks to 4 weeks that is good apart from that i think this is the only thing that will speak about the cycle uh, about the cycle time whereas 9 and 10 will speak about what let's read this components scrapped in production okay and machine idle time i think both are kind of waste only are as such okay this is your direct waste and this is waste of time because the machines are meaning idle this thing is expected to improve and this thing is also expected to improve so company in the next 3 years wants to be improving all the aspects of performance pyramid no that that was it and that was the only thing that we had to be writing performance pyramid as such if it comes no then i'll tell you what you got to be doing somewhere or the other structure your answer against these particular last four things okay you can speak about the top ones also but mainly your answer should be that what what will come in what what okay i'm reading it out once whatever i have written in shorts over here the problem is on performance pyramid as a problem speaks about external effectiveness and internal efficiency we have to make a report on its performance using performance pyramid the company is into manufacture of engines and we have been given future anticipated data comment on quality in quality we had these three aspects production achieving design quality standards returns from the customers and cost of after sale service and delivery uh in delivery we had one aspect sales meeting plan delivery dates and how will that help in customer satisfaction and in turn achieve the marketing objective use the kpis given so therefore the kpis were this kpis were this and the kpis were this okay and for delivery the kpi was this particular thing comment on cycle time and reduction of waste 
so cycle time was directly there with us and in reduction of waste you had this part and you have idle machine capacity and how that will help in productivity and in turn achieve the financial objectives obviously your waste will start to be falling down automatically your cost will start to get saved and ultimately we will start to be achieving our objectives that's it that was about your performance uh, prism question number one i'll see you all in the next lecture now you all take care of yourself bye guys bye